Okay, hi. Um, so, like Tamir uh, told you before, um, most of the most of the jobs in the IDF are more like office job. And in the IDF, I was it's kind of hard to explain. I was like a counselor for commanders, and I teach them how to do their job, um, like in a more guiding way to make make sure they take their point that they want to give to the people and do it right. Um, so to do that job, you have in the IDF, everyone, everybody has like a different um, job, like a, a professional. So when I joined the army, I went to be, uh, well, a computer geek, <laughs> basically. Um, I, I, my, I learned how to have, um, how to operate service, uh, servers uh, of the computers, and then I went to be a commander. And during the time I was a commander, it was uh, uh, the second operation in Gaza called Amunalan. And when you're a commander, I was, I was in charge of uh, 40, 40 soldiers, 40 girls. And it was kind of tough, you know, to just, you have the more responsibility. When you're a commander, you have all your soldiers and you need to be with more uh, secure place and to calm them down. And even though you're kind of stressed because there is bomb over your head and everything, you need to calm everybody down. Um, and just think about that. Let you want to call your home and tell them, are you okay? Yeah, the first, everything is okay. But you need first to take care of your soldiers and tell them, call your mother, uh, give them my phone because most of the time when the soldiers are in courses, like during um, like boot camp, they don't have their phone on them. So I give them my phone, call your parents, see that everything is okay, call your siblings, call your brothers and sisters, they are in the army, ask them if everything is okay. You need to have really, really relaxed and to be really, really secure. And that's something that they teach you when you or become a commander. Um, they teach you actually how to do that, how to like disengage, even though you have so much feelings, you're angry and you're frustrated and you have so many thoughts in your mind and you just need to be calm, to be authoritative, and just talk to them and really explain everything how that happens. So during that time, I needed to tell when you have when you are a commander, most of your soldiers don't really know a lot about you because you have like this. Uh, we call it distance. Um, distance is like you have you're the soldiers and I'm responsible for you, so you don't really know. You don't really need to know my problems. I'm here to listen to your. I'm here to support you, to help you, but you don't really need to to hear about mine. But because you are so panicked, I just like took five minutes and I said, okay, I will tell you about me. And then I told them where I come from, where I live, why, like how it is to live some, some, somewhere that is so close to the conflict and how it is to live like this and to tell them that everything will be okay. And when I say that, I mean that because I experienced that. And during the time, I'm relaxing them and everybody's like, okay, we're fine. And uh, they're just like, taking a deep breath, there was an, an alarm and it was, it was like, why now? <laughs> Until I get everybody so like relaxed and they thought everything is going to be okay and they were less panicked. Think about it, 40 girls <coughs> and the alarm system goes off. So they're just like screaming and they're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, just like screaming, screaming, screaming. I was like, okay, don't worry, everything is okay, just go behind the desk because we didn't have a, we didn't have a shelter nearby so they needed to take um there is like desk like like this kind of desk they go behind it and this is like their shelter um but for me like a commander i need to stay above and see that everything is okay and i see this picture and i always when there is i don't know why but every second time there is an alarm or Every time I saw an alarm, I saw that picture. I saw two girls. So every two girls were behind, behind one desk. 
and there was a desk and another desk and this is was like um like um, I don't know like the space between the two desks and there were two best friends but they were in separate um tables so I see them they're like underneath the table and they're holding hands and it was just like an amazing photograph in my mind to see that even though they're panicked and they're like everybody's taking care of themselves they still wanted to hold hand and just like tell each other that everything is okay and for me it was like it was something that makes me feel so like everything will be okay because if you protect each other then you feel like you know everything will be fine and they're just they're both like crying and they're like panicked but they're still like coming each other although they both are panicked they're just like it will be okay it will be okay i know but i'm, I'm scared i was like i'm it will be okay i'm scared too and just like it was really really uh, powerful experience for me as a commander and after that when i became um as i told you a counselor for commanders i always share that story and tell them that even if you're panicked and even if you're uh, feeling a little bit insecure you can always give your soldiers the give them like the extra um place to like tell how they feel and if you feel like you need to a little bit step from your um the like we call it a mask like the commander mask to make sure that your your soldiers will be feeling more comfortable then you should do it and that's my story that's how i experienced my military service. Check it.